A room divider is a great way to partition a room, add some privacy, or just use as a great focal point. In this DIY, I'm gonna take you through all the steps you need to follow to create this simple yet stylish room divider using some timber and then decorate it with your choice of wallpaper. So this is what you'll need. Some 32 by 22 millimeter plain door round pine, and I've got six pieces at two meters and nine pieces at 500 mils long. Then I've got six pieces of 12 mil ply cut to 500 by 900 millimeters. And don't forget you can use the builder's cutting service to cut all the timber to size for you. Then I've got some wallpaper and I've gone with the linen. And remember there's a wide range of wallpapers to choose from to suit your home. Now I'll be using the Craig pocket hole system to join everything together. So I'll need some 25mm and some 32mm screws as well as some wooden plugs. Some wood glue, some wallpaper adhesive and six hinges. Then tools you'll need a drill driver, sander, clamp, utility knife, a rubber squeegee, paintbrush and container for the glue. Then to finish it off, I'll be using the Emboya Fired Earth Woodworks. It's perfect for this job. It's a stain and sealer in one and it dries nice and quick. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is drill our pocket holes on each side of our 500mm pieces and I'll put two pocket holes on each side. Then adjust your jig to 12mm and drill some pocket holes around the panels. Three holes on the long sides and two on the short will be plenty. Now before we start assembling, it's a good idea to cut the wallpaper for later. And that's because we're using the panel as a stencil to cut it to size. So four sheets per divider panel and that's 12 in total. Now let's start assembling. Starting at the top, we can clamp our joints and fasten the top cross piece to the top of each leg using the 32mm screws. And remember to use wood glue at all your joints for extra strength. Now I can slide in my panel and I'm using a 6mm piece of offcut just to get my spacing right. Then fasten it in place with the 25mm screws. Now for the centre cross piece with the 32mm screws, the next panel with the 25mm screws and spacer, and then the final bottom cross piece goes in place. To fill the holes and hide the screws, we're going to put some glue in each of the cross brace holes and then we can pop in the plugs to hide them. Now don't worry about covering the holes in the boards because they will be covered later on with the wallpaper. Now once that's dry, we can give our divider panel a good sanding and then seal it with our Emboya stain. I'm not going to do the panels because they're going to be covered by the wallpaper, but make sure you get into the edges. Now while that's drying, we can mix up our wallpaper adhesive. Now make sure you read the instructions very carefully and add the correct amount of adhesive to some water. For this particular adhesive, we need to add one bag to three liters of water. Okay, so we'll leave that to stand for 15 minutes and then we'll give it another mix. And don't worry about rushing, this adhesive has a long set time. Now that our panel is dry, we can paint some adhesive onto the board. Now don't be shy, you don't want dry spots or the paper will lift. So be sure to coat the entire board. Now carefully lay down the paper and use the squeegee to stick it to the board and get all the air and excess adhesive out. Our panel's wallpapered on both sides, now follow those exact same steps to make another two sides. So now the last thing to do is fasten the three together with the hinges. So three hinges on each joining edge and make sure the hinges are facing the correct direction. And that's it, our divider is done and ready to be put into place and enjoyed. Now remember everything I used is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-tos like this, visit the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.